Howdy, Lonnie. So I've gone around it and I've got uh, this all the way around and it looks pretty deep here. And the reason is because at station number one, I'm still not all the way down, but it's at the edge of the turntable. So I'm not real concerned about it. Everywhere else it's gone down. So the biggest dip here looks like it's about a little more than a sixteenth of an inch, less than an eighth of an inch. So that means that from here to there, it was fairly flattish, but there was a tilt. And so I've got this data ring all the way around. Um, I'm now in the process of measuring depth here, 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 and here by running that guy across and using my depth gauge on my caliber micrometer and checking the height of this guy to that ring in multiple places. But as you can see, uh, I got a front right, back right, back left, front right. But this guy doesn't come out far enough to really, you know, get out over to here. So I'm checking these four places. And even though they don't go all the way around the machine, they are in four distinct places. And so I think if I can get those pretty close, I'll be all right. So this is my worksheet I've been working on right at the moment. When I put that uh, gauge across, that gauge is 2.004 inches thick. When I put it across and dip down, uh, this corner is 5.315 inches. That's 5.225 inches. That was 5.250 inches. That one's 3 5.315 inches. And so when all four of them are exactly the same, I'm going to consider this thing, I'm going to consider those rails um, jigged in. Uh, so then um, these two right at the moment are the same, boink and boink. The backwards off a little bit, so I've been scrolling around. So I got to, my next iteration is I have to turn that guy up one and a third turns on a quarter by 20. And I got to turn that one up some number that I've got figured out there. And after I do this, and I have no more adjustments to make, even though I didn't come out on the close part here. <coughs> I think that'll be all right. And then I'll start cutting it uh, milling it flat. That's where I'm at.